As we have seen, this award program has recognized Irish business leaders who influence and impact on a world stage. It has been nothing short of exceptional, none more so than our outstanding achievement in business honoree, Martin Nocton. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we honor an entrepreneur and a philanthropist with an outstanding global reputation. Martin is someone who embodies the spirit of an entrepreneur who has taken chances and built what is today a global brand powerhouse in Glen Dimplex. Martin established Glen Electric in Newry in 1973, rising to 10 employees at the height of the troubles. Indeed, as we look at, our, uh, indeed, we look at Northern Ireland, which is thriving today, Martin is one of few business people who were first to build a global business out of Northern Ireland, turning a local company in Newry into an, a leading global manufacturer. But arguably, again, Dimplex would not be where it is today were it not for Martin's openness to take a road less travelled. Martin left school at 16 to train as an engineer in the UK before returning to Ireland to found Glen Electric. In 1977, however, he bet the ranch, and against the advice of his business counsel, a certain Lachlan Quinn of Arthur Anderson, I believe, and acquired the significantly larger UK-based Dimplex Group out of receivership, and Glen Dimplex was formed. Through Martin's outstanding leadership, Glen Dimplex has established a global business with 10,000 employees all over the world, revenues of nearly 2 billion euro, with manufacturing and sales subsidiaries across the UK, Europe, the US, Canada, China, and beyond. I'm sure Sir John wouldn't mind me quoting one of his predecessors, Winston Churchill, who I think epitomized Martin Nocton's philanthropic achievements when he said, we make a living, living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. It is important, therefore, knowing Martin's strong family values in both his business and personal life, to acknowledge his wife, Carmel, who's with us this evening. Carmel, you're very welcome. Carmel is also an outstanding contributor to Ireland. The sheer scale of Martin and Carmel's effect on communities in Ireland and across the globe is quite remarkable. Their contrib contribution to education can be seen in Trinity College Dublin with the exceptional Nocton Institute. It can also be seen in the Q Noct Q Nocton Institute in Notre Dame, which through Martin's generosity has brought Ireland to Notre Dame and Notre Dame to Ireland. In a country where the notion of philanthropy is still in its relative infancy, Martin is a trailblazer. But in business, he is a pioneer with no fear of risk. Martin's business achievements across the globe have created employment, built brands, supported communities, and given back to Ireland. None of us can survive long term unless we make ourselves capable of competing against the best in the world. It does need a lot of commitment. There's a price to be paid for it. A lot of sacrifices, a lot of hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, an innovator, an influencer, and an inspiration, would you please be upstanding for the 2014 Outstanding Achievement in Business Honoree, Martin Nocton.
Well, good evening. It's all very flattering, Ian, and thank you. Uh, but you know, I've never really been recognized for myself. My only brother is a priest, and I was always introduced as, this is the priest's brother. <laughs> and, <clears throat> and when I married Carmel, again, I got introduced, this is Carmel's husband. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, when we had a family, I heard myself being referred to as, this is Fiona's dad. But the last straw was four months ago. Uh, I, had, I had a silly little accident in Mayo and ended up in the accident and emergency in Castle Bar. And the surgeon arrived in, and I am just hanging on to life by a thread. So the surgeon is reading from his mobile, and he ignores me completely and goes to Carmel. And he said, I've just had a message from my wife which says, you have a very important patient who you must look after. He's Sean Lysett's granddad. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> um, considering this, you can imagine how confused I was to be nominated for this award. Um, I was born in Dublin. The year war broke out, the Second World War. Uh, in Ireland, that was called the emergency, uh, or indeed the bother in Europe. But uh, <laughs> bombs got dropped on Dublin, and my parents took their little family to the safety of the country, and we moved to Dundalk, where I joined babies in the De La Salle School, along with just over 100 other uh, boys. And 12 of us did the intercert, and 8 of us did leaving cert. So 90 plus percent didn't finish second level education. And that was Ireland then. Uh, after leaving South, I went to England, to Southampton, where I first of all studied aeronautical engineering before switching to mechanical engineering. So after five years when I qualified, as I had always intended, I returned to Ireland. And this was the beginning of the Sean Lamas era when inward foreign investment was being attracted into Ireland by cheap labour, uh, tax and other incentives. So a dozen years after returning home, um, I set up my own business. And the rest, I guess, is history. But you know, it's lovely and easy talking about setting up your old business, especially over a few pints or a glass of wine. It's a different matter altogether, giving up the security of a job and a pension and going into the cold world. However, for good or bad, that's what I did. And I'm a very private person. And Glendimplex is a private company, but it's run very much like a public company. So for over 60 years, I have watched Ireland being transformed from a poor agricultural country into a high-tech economy competing on the world stage. Not just a different country, a different planet. And where this country is now is not its destination. We are still on a journey. Now, during my long business life, have I learned anything? Like I must have. But let me, let me give you a few ideas. Now, there's 10 ideas. And, <laughs> And, and these are not the Ten Commandments, so, uh, but um, I think, number one, in business, the only golden rule is there is no golden rule. There's no recipe to say, follow this and you'll succeed. Number two, always play fair. Your handshake or your word is a contract. And integrity in business is the only way. Number three, we have two pockets. We have a business pocket and we have a personal pocket. And don't mix them up. <clears throat> At the end of negotiations, I always feel it's good to leave a little on the table. Both sides will never be totally happy, but at least they should be satisfied that the deal is fair. Number five, 
Turnover is vanity, profit is sanity. Always focus on the bottom line. Stay nervous. And irrespective of how good your performance is, never be satisfied. It's never good enough. Always remain worried. And number six, if you don't innovate, you'll evaporate. And that applies to all our businesses. Number seven, grow within your resources, financial resources, managerial resources. And remember, nobody ever started a large business. The biggest corporations in the world started in a shed or an office somewhere. And my most important word in management is care. If you care enough about anything, you will never allow it to go wrong. Care for your business, care for your employees, care for your suppliers, and care for your customers. In fact, nothing is too much trouble for your customers. They put the food on the table. And remember again, things don't happen, people make things happen. Things don't go wrong, people allow things to go wrong. And number nine, a company belongs to a lot more people than the owners. And finally, the person that can't delegate is a nuisance. <laughs> Be a team builder. The biggest motivation for everyone, for all of us, I want to be important. And that applies to the guy who sweeps the floor as much as to the directors of the business. And some years ago, I wrote to all our managers saying, I am all within the group, and I said, look, I am now taking a back seat. And Carmel overheard our two sons, Neil and Fergal, talking to someone who said, I hear your dad is taking a back seat. Uh, Fergal said, indeed he is, but he's brought the steering wheel with him. Like, it's, it's just not true. I really believe in delegating. Um, anyway, going forward, my priorities are the family, the business, the country. And whatever few years or whatever time I have left, I want to spend the most of it helping all three to prosper. Now, finally, like other people, I really want to congratulate Business and Finance on this their golden jubilee. I have been in management for over 50 years, and during that time, business and finance has been compulsory reading. I believe Ian Highland is an entrepreneur and a national treasure. He's to be, he is to be congratulated on this evening, so please join me in giving Ian and the entire team at Business and Finance a big round of applause. Thank you all very much. Martin Knoxon, ladies and gentlemen. Martin, um, your words, your, your, your 10 points, uh, your thoughts about business and uh, taking the good and the bad. All of us here know in this room, whatever scale we're at, the challenges involved in running a business. That's why tonight is so important, I think, recognition in Ireland. Sometimes we don't do recognition or uh, we don't appreciate the good things we do so well. And certainly on the media side of business, we certainly have our, our faults and uh, we have a lot of work to do in that regard. But tonight is a night of recognizing all those great Irish stories, regardless of the size they are, Irish people, Irish business people leave their footprint all over the world and we've got to recognise that this evening. And a lot of those people are in this room and Martin, you are an outstanding example of Global Ireland. Martin Nutton. And I, and I, I want to make special, I mentioned uh, Carmel, but Carmel uh, is uh, 
an outstanding individual in her own right uh, on a number of different levels and an outstanding contributor to the arts uh, uh, across Ireland um, and Carmel. Many congratulations on, on your own success. And can I mention Fergal, Neil, Fiona? You're very welcome and I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Congratulations, Martin, and all of the Nocton family, can I say.